Hello, welcome. This is One India News, and I am Akash. After two weeks of spectacular cricket in the 2017 Champions Trophy, it all boils down to the ultimate showdown: the final at the Kennington Oval in London. India versus Pakistan is always a high voltage clash, and this one promises to be an absolute thriller. In the beginning, very few people had given Pakistan a chance of coming this far in the tournament, but they have defied all the odds and overcame one hurdle after another. However, India won't be a walk in the park for Sarfaraz Ahmed's men, and Pakistani cricketers have to be on the top of their game. However, Pakistan have the ammunition to humble India, lift the cup. and also make it 3-2 in terms of head to head in the champions trophy against arch rivals india and here are the five reasons why men in green can trouble the men in blue number 1 the stupendous run of hasan ali with mohammad amir and junaid khan in the rank hasan ali wasn't expected to be the spearhead of the pakistan's bowling repertoire however that is exactly what has happened he is not the one to give batsmen an intimidating look but will gradually get under their skins as the tournament progressed the 23 year old pacer climbed up the ladder to surprise opposition the punjab born bowler is currently leading the list of the wicket takers with 10 in four games number 2 fakhar zaman's rich form Pakistan started their Champions Trophy campaign with an awful outing with bat against India, stumbling to a mammoth 124 run loss. On a batting paradise, the Pakistanis looked all at sea and were unable to get the scoreboard moving. However, Pakistan took the gamble of playing a debutant Fakhar Zaman from the next match, which changed the complexion of their batting. They needed someone to take on the bowling attack by the scruff of their neck, and Zaman had did exactly that. With 138 runs in three matches at a strike rate of 117.94, he has turned the bleak-looking batting order into a formidable one. And Pakistan will hope that he continues his fiery form. Number three, ability of the spinners to choke the opposition. In their first game, Indian batsmen didn't allow the spinners settle into a rhythm during the middle phase of their innings. Nevertheless, the tables have turned and Pakistan have turned their weakness into strength. Imad Wasim was taken to the cleaners by Hardik Pandya and other batsmen, but he came back with a stupendous spell against South Africa. Shadab Khan has also been able to put a lid on the score with an economy of 4.66 on some good batting wickets. In their last game, they managed to get an inform England batting lineup on the mat, which shows the form the spinners are in. To win the final, Wasim and company have to showcase the same skills to take the sting out of the Indian batting. Number 4 experienced heads gaining back form it is pretty understandable that team banks upon the experienced players to deliver during crucial moments of the game pakistan have quite a few of them in their armory who have delivered for them time and again in international cricket mohammad hafiz shoaib malik and azhar ali looked rusted in the pool game but were in good touch in pakistan's semi final encounter with england Azhar Ali might not boast of a blistering strike rate however with 169 runs to his name his role at the top to keep the things calm will be the key in the final Hafiz has struggled to find the form but chipped in a very handy 31 run in 21 balls against England and against India every one of those runs will matter and number 5 depth in batting Depth in batting is a vital component in today's dynamics of cricket and can sometimes be a difference between a win and loss. To be precise, it's their lower order batting that has helped Pakistan to a semi-final berth against England. Mohammad Amir is no mug with the bat and he manifested the same with a gutsy knock of 28 runs from 43 balls coming in at number 9 against Sri Lanka. 
Along with Sarfaraz Ahmed, the left-handed batsman compiled a partnership of 75 runs to take Pakistan out of a precarious position and ultimately to a win. The Indian bowling has been top-notch and the lower half of the Pakistan batting might have to come to the fore if the top and the middle order doesn't do their job. So these are the reasons because of which Pakistan can upset India in the finals of the ICC Champions Trophy. But on paper, India seems to be a stronger side currently. Well, that's all for now. But for more news and updates, log on to oneindia.com and please don't forget to like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe One India News YouTube channel.